tomorrow's the 12th of April and Corona restrictions will be eased so that we can travel countywide. And I hope the weather is a bit more favorable because I intend to fish a lake a little bit further away than five kilometers. Well, today I will be fishing a bit further away from home than five kilometers, but it won't be a lake. Michael McLaughlin rang me yesterday evening and suggested the estuary. Maybe there are already a few sea trout about. Highland Paddy. Yeah, I do. I do. He used to play in the rising tide many a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look, they are almost ready for harvesting, aren't they? Do you eat them, boys? Aye, but you can't eat. They, they, take them, they take them and wash them and all. I don't think there's any. They wash them and all, take them over. Do you like oysters to eat? No, I do not. You don't? I don't they might like one or two. I well, I'm not too fond of them myself. No. I prefer a decent fish, to tell you the truth. There is a new moon, meaning there is a neap tide too. That is what you want, because you get really close to the channel and that's where the white trout usually are. You have a relatively short time window for your fishing, about two hours either side of low tide. Of course, we do our very best during that span, but there is just nothing happening at all. So, Michael, thank you very much. I enjoyed that immensely. We had a great walk and a bit of fishing, so maybe next time we'll catch a few. Yes, hope so. So, no sea trout today, but tomorrow I'll be off again to a lake. Maybe the brown trout cooperate. I found this in the post after I came home from the estuary. A book called Green by my dear friend Mr. Emil Divago. And in the foreword he writes, A rub of the green is normally associated with the touching of Irish shamrocks, traditionally bringing good luck, fortune and happiness. Funny enough that reflects exactly my state of mind. <laughs> Very good. I love it. <laughs> so, where was I? Where was I? This newly extended freedom of movement makes you almost feel like a tourist. And after having seen the great Donegal views for quite a while now, they seem even more impressive. However, I'm not only here for sightseeing. My actual destination today is a lake Frank O'Donnell once described as the jewel of the mountains. And I think it certainly is. I was daydreaming about this one for quite a while, pictured myself at its banks catching one trout after the other. That there is a shallow bay and I'll have the wind in the back. Yeah. 
not a sign of a fish. Amazing! It looks like they had them all out of it. Like some weird catastrophe has happened and all the fish are gone. I came here because usually you never go home without a fish. But today is weird. Nothing to show, nothing to report. Fished all along that bank there behind me. Never even saw a fish. But on the way home I'll pass house lake number two and I'll give that a few casts just to see whether this was a bad choice of lake for the day or whether it's just the general airflow. I don't want to bore you with another casting sequence. Never saw a fish, never caught a fish, never touched a fish. So I'll go home now and read and finish Mr. Emil Divago's book and come back another day. You see, last night I learned what a rub of the green means. But there is also a green rub. And Mr. Divago says a green rub is an expression used in the Navy for an unfortunate happening to someone who experiences hard luck, misfortune and unhappiness. Well, apart from the unhappiness, that describes exactly how my fishing these last two days was. But next time I'm fishing, I'm sure it will be a rub of the green again. <laughs> Great book anyway. <laughs>